This could be the next big thing in cordless power tools. Cat, Caterpillar. We knew they made heavy duty construction equipment like bulldozers, backhoes, trackhoes, all that awesome stuff, but I had no idea they made power tools too. Are they gonna be the next big thing? Let's talk about it. Before we get started, if you'd like to check these out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description and the pinned comment to help you find them easier. Welcome to the Outlaw Effect. I like the box. I like the carry case. That classic iconic cat logo stamp right on the front. So far, I like that. There, there's a handle up top to carry either way. Uh, I do like there's a couple of options there. Pretty cool. I like when tools come in proper storage boxes and not just some flimsy bag, Mickey of Milwaukee. Oh, padded too. Check that out. They look sharp. I'm not gonna lie, these look sharp. Now, I'm a, I'll am go way back. I started construction in 1995 after I graduated high school. Uh, when I started construction, they issued two keys to you on the job site, a cat key and a John Deere key. Those keys would operate bulldozers, track hose, back hose, uh, you name it, what we were using on the job site, those two keys would do it. So that cat logo is, I don't know, it just brings back those memories. First out of the box, they feel really good. And I don't know that I've seen any other tool brand have the batteries attached to the tools out of the box. I can't remember that I've seen that ever. Kind of interesting. The feel of these, nice grip feel on them. I like that. Now, one thing that's kind of weird, obnoxious, sticking way out there is these giant belt clips. I don't care for that. Those will come off on mine. So in the package, you get a drill, a driver, and the charger. And there is that insert. It's just plastic. Man, I wish they would have upgraded that to a little bit of foam or something. You get a little more premium feel. This is a pro level type of tool as far as the pricing goes. Uh, they're up there with a the Milwaukee, uh, the DeWalt XR, et cetera. So I'm glad they gave us the box, not complaining, but I would like to see this be a little more robust. Now this kit that I purchased comes with two two amp hour lithium ion batteries. Now they have available graphene batteries or they're, at least they're trying to bring those to market. And there's some different technology there for graphene batteries that we haven't seen before in power tools that I know of. And they're bringing that to market or they're advertising it's coming or it's already here and I just didn't get it in my kit. Uh, but what that means is it's just going to charge faster. You can charge it in colder weather. Uh, they should last longer, according to them. We'll have to see if they ever come out with those, or maybe I can get my hands on them and we'll test that out. The belt clip on these, as mentioned, they're very big, but they're not that sturdy. They're really flexible. I'm not sure if that's going to matter to you, but if you need to hang these on the belt, uh, I'd probably go a different route. It just seems to be a little more bendy than what you normally get on some of the other ones. In this kit, I got a half inch drill, the quarter inch impact, and we'll go over the features of these. Now the quarter inch impact has 1900 pounds of torque is what they're claiming. It reminds me a lot of the subcompact rigid, honestly, as far as the look of it. It's not made by rigid. We'll talk about who makes cat here in a few. This is nicely balanced. It feels good in the hand. I like this a lot. I wish that more companies or more brands would take a note from skill the way they have the led ring light around the front of this i like that a lot rigid i believe milwaukee also has those leds right there around this this has it on the bottom that's very not very useful to me i think that winds up casting shadows and stuff it's really not that helpful in tight spaces or dark areas i much prefer more lighting up here versus down here same thing on the drill the led light is on the base this is a three speed impact got basically low medium and high push button right there on the top, easily adjustable. Other than that, standard forward and reverse on the flip switch, just like any other drill impact, et cetera, except for maybe the Milwaukee five in one that has the weird push button, but forward reverse right there. The drill has a max torque of 600 pounds. It is a half inch drill. And both of these have a three year warranty, not bad. Drill is a two speed drill, just like almost any other drill on the market. The speed adjustments right there on the top. And it does have this adjustment, nice positive feedback when you're adjusting the power or the tension of the torque on the drill chuck all the way to hammer drill. So this is a hammer drill as well. Standard form reverse buttons right there. Comparing the size of this drill, it's very similar in size to my rigid motor, Gen 5X rigid. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than say the atomic uh, line of the DeWalt, but it's a good decent sized drill. It's not compact or anything like that, but it's also not overly heavy. If you compare the size of the impacts together, you're looking at the almost the similar size as the Atomic DeWalt Impact, uh, very similar to the rigid size as well, maybe a little smaller than the rigid. And of course the M12 line is much smaller than any of them, but this is a really good size. It's not overly big again, it, it, this seems right. It just feels good in the hand. I think this is a solid size. I just wish it had those LEDs around the front. 
I don't know why modern company's not putting those on there, especially when all of the other competitors are literally doing it. So come on, let's put these up there. Interesting, the batteries on these look very similar to what you see on the DeWalt. They connect very similarly. Also, Makita has a similar connection system. I think the Milwaukee as well as Rigid both have tabs on the side. So they're all just slightly different. Uh, just different enough they won't interchange. As far as power goes, it's a drill and driver. They work pretty good. I was able to drive three inch long screws, no problem at all with the impact, and then back them out, no problem. Drill works well. I think it has some type of overload or anti-twist protection because anytime it started to bind up, it would shut off and then kick back on and let me continue to drill. It's great for saving a wrist because if you've ever had a bit hang and a drill didn't have that and it twists you around, you'll appreciate that. Now, who makes cat power tools? Well, it's a company called Positec. They also make Works, Rockwell, Westco, and a few other brand names. So these, I think, are in line with the top tier. So if you think like TTI brands, you got Milwaukee at the top, followed by Rigid, then Ryobi bringing up the rear. I think that's kind of how this is positioned. So maybe in line with Milwaukee style is what they're trying to market it as. If they're that quality, that's yet to be seen, but that's where they're trying to market those as. It's no different than Black & Decker owning DeWalt and Black & Decker and a bunch of other brands. It's similar to the same thing. You got a parent company that owns multiple brands underneath it. But if you're familiar with Works Power Tools, uh, then you know who makes those. And that's where these are coming from. Same parent company, not same factory. Now, what's yet to be seen is how many power tools are they going to come out with? Are they going to be a force to be reckoned with, like I stated in the intro, or are they just going to kind of rest on what they've already got? I think they're going to come out with a bunch more in 2024. I'm excited to see what they got. Right now, you can get sanders and grinders and work lights and saws. There's several product options available right now from CAT, but I do believe we're gonna see more and more coming in the coming years. So how would I rate these? Well, cool factor, they're getting a five bandit out of five bandit. Like this is super cool. If you can get a cat power tool in your hand, that's awesome. Functionality goes, man, the drill's perfectly fine. The impact, I don't like that there's no LEDs up there. It works, it, it's fine. I think I'm gonna knock off a couple of bandits for that. We'll give them a three out of five. Uh, the drill will get a four out of five. I think it could be better as well. I'd like to see some more lighting options. That's kind of standard for all drills. Power worked fine. I wanna test those graphene batteries. I gotta check out, see if those are on the market yet and get those in, see if that's gonna make a difference. If you'd like to see that video, comment below. Uh, but I don't know, it, we'll see how that works. But if you just want absolute awesome cool factor, Grab a set of these, link in the description in the pinned comment. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the fit and finish of these. I like the way they look. I don't know how long they'll hold up or how well they hold up, especially that cat logo. Man, if that doesn't stand out from now on, I would be disappointed because I want to see that cat logo because it's awesome. I will give them three and a half bandits out of five for the storage box. And the reason it's not higher is these latches, they leave a little bit desired. They're a little too plasticky. I'd much rather see them put on latches similar to the Flex Stack Packs or the Milwaukee Packouts or something like that. If you're gonna give us a box, make it robust so that if I can, I can throw this thing around and I have to worry about those latches breaking, I don't think these will last very long if you're too rough with it. I think it's just kind of a, they're just cheap plastic and I think they're gonna break fairly easily. The box is okay. It's not pack out or flex standard level. It's a rigid plastic box. It's just not great. I think they could do a better job with that, but I do appreciate that they did put this in there. My prediction as far as how well this will do in the market is it's going to be tough to compete with DeWalt, Milwaukee, Flex. I mean, Flex has been here for a few years now and they're just really getting their feet under them as far as tools and stuff go. Tool lineup, not necessarily their tools themselves, just the lineup of tools. I think Cat's got an uphill battle here, but I am excited to see some more competition. I like it. I like it a lot.